They began arriving at the Chamorro Land Trust Commission's offices yesterday. Hundreds of people who have applied for parcels of land through the trust. They're here to resolve an apparent problem with the trust records. Much to the surprise of many of them, the Trust Commission lacks any receipts that these people have paid the mandatory $50 application fee required to start the process of getting them the land that they want, and has asked through a local newspaper advertisement that they now come in to prove they have paid what they owe. Yeah, I'm surprised because I was told that my name was here. And the thing there, I just want to come down here and verify everything that why my name was printed on the newspaper. Uh, I just came here to check my son's name because it's in the newspaper and uh, yeah. I just want to find out whether they're going to give it to him or... Land Trust Commission Director Joe Borja says the record-keeping problem stems from the fact that payments to the trust are made at the local treasurer's office, and applicants often forget to bring a copy of the receipt to the trust's offices. He notes this problem is closely linked to concerns voiced in the legislature about the long waiting list for land parcels that the trust now has and fears that some applicants are being passed over. Uh, the legislature said, hey, we're getting a lot of complaints down here that people are being bypassed, you know, and some people that are complaining they're bypassed, one of the reasons why they've been bypassed is they haven't paid their fee, so we don't process them if they don't pay the fee. You know. But this is a direct uh, uh, response to the legislature's concern that some people were being bypassed. Borja adds that the trust will soon publish a second list in the newspaper of applicants who the trust apparently has bypassed. And the trust's offices will soon begin keeping its doors open on Saturdays to deal with the added workload that it will face in addressing those bypassed applicants. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.